Hello YouTube! My name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and today we're going to be talking about Supply Drops, a brand new addition to the Call of Duty franchise. It adds a looting system to the game in a way and it's pretty freaking cool. So the gameplay here is just going to be me getting a Supply Drop initially to kind of show you guys exactly what Supply Drops look like and how you can acquire them. Unfortunately, I don't have too many tips to give you as to how to acquire Supply Drops. They really seem to happen randomly and talking to other YouTubers, I couldn't find any concrete evidence, any real answers as to how we get these Supply Drops to drop. But as you guys can see I got one right there randomly for being meleeed. I don't know why I got one but I ended up getting a supply drop right there. Now let's actually go towards the end of the game where you guys can see what supply drops look like as you open them and the stuff that you guys can actually get from them. So here we are back at the lobby and let's open up our supply drop and see exactly what it is that we got from the supply drop. We have a Ball 27 Marksman Edition. That's kind of cool. We got ourselves a reinforcement that's going to actually drop us a care package four minutes into our next match. We have some Sentinel knee pads as well as we have a Bloodshed Helmet. So that's kind of a cool little pack. So let's open up another supply drop and see what we get from that one. So here we are back in another lobby getting another supply drop. And let's go ahead and open this one up and see exactly what it is we get. Now there's some really cool stuff in this one. I even though you could get this kind of stuff until I got it. We got two different versions of double XP, an elite grade one, a professional grade one, as well as the bloodshed helmet, which you're gonna be getting the bloodshed helmet a lot. So we got 25 minutes of double XP for that one and 45 minutes of double XP from the other one. That's pretty freaking awesome. So let's open up this third one here. I only wanted to open up three of them. I didn't want to open up a whole ton of them just in this video. I wanted to show you some of the stuff you can get. We got Sentinel Airborne Pants. We have a Marine Shirt as well as Sentinel Intel Gloves. So this is more for the customization side of things. I didn't actually get an upgrade to my weapon or anything like that. But you can, in fact, get a bunch of cool upgrades for your gun from these supply drops. Let's go ahead and show you guys some gameplay of that. So here we are back in modern time, present time, as I'm about ready to prestige. I am max level right now. I'm ready to enter prestige. I have all the XP I needed. But before I do so, I wanted to show you guys my armory so I can show you all the things I've actually gotten out of supply drops. Let's go down here to the armory. And as you guys can see, I have a ton of different weapons I've gotten from supply drops. Just a bunch of different upgraded weapons of different kind of colors and variations, as well as I've gotten a bunch of different kinds of masks and customizations for my character that I can use, like this green ball cap that I like to wear or these. Uh, Nido blue pants or especially these green gloves I really think are cool because even while you're playing Call of Duty and you're playing this in first person you can actually see your gloves on your character while you're playing so having these glowy green gloves are pretty freaking cool and I love those gloves but the main thing I want to focus on right now is actually these weapons so there's three different tiers of weapon upgrades that you can get there is enlisted which is going to show up as green we have professional which is going to show up as blue and we have elite which is going to show up as this brown bronze goldish looking camo right so keep in mind enlisted is the lowest tier you can get professional is pretty above average and then elite is just a very good version now all these different kinds of upgrades for the weapons actually give you kind of bonuses as well as takes away a little bit from your gun so it kind of depends on how you want to play and allows you to customize your experience a little bit more so let's say for example uh let's go up to the uh ball 27 308 so this is going to take our traditional like our standard ball 27 rifle and if i use this version one it changes the way the gun looks by the camo as you can see it comes with this now orangish camo with a little bit of yellow on there which looks pretty cool what it's going to do is add two to my range so it's make it so the ball 27 is more effective at range but it is going to lower the handling which a lot of us have kind of considered that to be kind of like your reload speed as well as it's going to lower our accuracy so let's say you're using the ball 27 but you're finding that long distance fights you're having a lot of difficulty like usually you do pretty good with it but at longer ranges you're having trouble with it if you actually unlock the ball 27 308 via a supply drop then you can equip this version of the ball 27 and this one actually has more range let's go ahead and look at the IMR feedback. Now, this is a cool one. It's actually going to take away one in accuracy and one in range, but it's actually going to give a plus two in fire rate, making this gun a lot better for close range, which is actually how I usually run this thing. I run around with it a lot as if it were uh, something like an M8A1 from Black Ops 2. Let's see if I can find my LSAT. Is this, this? Yes, this baby right here. It's not actually the LSAT. It's actually the Amelia. I don't know why I thought it was an LSAT, but this thing is freaking amazing. All right, so I used this the first game where I used this Amelia subverter. I got 40 kills with it it's amazing so as you guys can see it gives me plus two to the damage of my light machine gun which is already pretty good because you guys know light machine guns they they have a very good range they usually have pretty good damage and they're just powerful and the kind of the drawback to it is they're very slow mobility wise and their handling which is like the reload speed is also very slow right well here's what this does the subverter variant of the amelie actually gives me plus two to damage but as you guys can see there is a little red arrow there it actually cuts my magazine size in half so what this basically does is it makes my gun ridiculously 
powerful, but instead of having a 100 round magazine, it gives me a 50 round magazine instead, which is kind of a good uh, trade off in my opinion, because having a 50 round mag in a light machine gun can be pretty troublesome because reloading this thing takes for freaking ever. Of course, you can melt so many people with this because you look at this man, the Amelia has the best fire rate of all the light machine guns. You look at the fact it has 15 range and 15 fire rate and 12 damage. I melt people at long range. I just do. The gun doesn't kick at all. It's very powerful. It's a very, very good setup. But at the same time, it takes me forever and a half to reload, and I don't move around a whole lot because it, you know, I, my mobility with a light machine gun is, of course, a lot less. So these are just some cool things that you can get. Uh, I have a bunch of different ones here, and these things are all pretty nice, and it really allows you to customize the way you want to play. One more thing I should note down there at the bottom of your screen, you see it says discard item. Now, I can't show you exactly how it works right now because I have all the XP I need to be able to prestige, but you can, in fact, discard these items, and doing so will give you XP. So if you go ahead, and let's say I wanted to get rid of this here. I don't really like using the, uh, the S12 here all that much. If I want to discard it by pressing X, I can actually discard it by pressing A now. But usually it's going to show up. It'll tell you how much XP you would get for discarding it. Now how it works is if you want to like, get rid of a green weapon, an enlisted weapon like this, it'll give you 500 XP for getting rid of it and taking it out of your armory. If you do it to a blue, it's going to give you 1,000 XP. And if you do it to an elite, it's going to give you 2,000 XP, which is pretty freaking great. So if you find some of these things that you don't exactly like, like, uh, I'm not a big fan of the, um... Actually, I do like that gun, but right here, like, you see the subverter, right, on the melee? That's the only one I'm ever going to want to use. I'm not going to want to use this professional version that lowers the damage but increases the reload speed a little bit. I'm not going to want that. I'm not going to want either one of those. Now I look at I have two melee crafty versions, and I have two subverters. So I can get rid of one of these subverters, and I can get rid of both these crafties, and I can get a bunch of XP for that. I can just go in there, and I can just discard them and get some XP as a result. Like I said, I can't show you actually getting XP from this because I have all the XP I need to be able to prestige, but still, you guys get the point of it and you should also note that as you guys can see at the top of your screen I only have 56 free slots left in my armory so you do actually in fact eventually are going to need to get rid of some of these items from your armory you can't just have all of them you can't just you know keep every single little thing that you've ever gotten ever it's just not going to work out that way you have a limit as to how much you can actually have in here so you are going to have to kind of pick and choose especially in the later levels like i imagine once you get closer to 15th prestige and stuff you're really going to have to pick and choose as to which things you want to keep in your armory now me for example like a lot of these pants and stuff i don't even use this stuff i'd probably get rid of all of it but right now i don't need to uh like i said with the amelie here i, I don't need either one of these craft I only need to have one subverter so I can just go ahead and get rid of those. I'm not a big fan of the Atlas 20mm. I'd probably end up getting rid of that. I could probably get rid of this here. There's a lot of these things I'd actually probably end up getting rid of. I just kept them for the sake of the video. I kind of stockpiled these things for you guys for the sake of the video. Well, regardless, that is the video showing you guys supply drops, kind of how they work. They're kind of a neat thing. They're a cool new addition to the game, in my opinion. Once again, I really don't know how you actually acquire these things. It all seems completely random as to when you get these. I've talked this over with a bunch of YouTubers that I've been playing with uh, as I've gotten the game early, and we've been talking about it, and none of us have really found like a concrete solution as to how we actually acquire these things. They just really kind of appear randomly, but they appear frequently, so you are going to be getting a lot of these supply drops, and as Call of Duty Advanced Warfare actually goes on as the months go by and whatnot, I'm sure we're actually going to kind of figure out the formula as to how you get these supply drops, but as of right now, it's like, eh... Uh, they just kind of show up randomly. I wish I could tell you, but if any of you guys do know how you get supply drops in a consistent way to get them, or uh, what exactly you need to do, or what criteria you need to meet to be able to earn a supply drop, let us know about that in the comments. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a rating, and of course, be sure to subscribe if you guys are new to my channel, because I post a lot of Advanced Warfare videos just like this. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.